Good evening and thank you for watching K-Texas News at 10. I'm Farrah Walton. And I'm Will Jensen. We start tonight with news about K-Texas, more specifically about Farrah. Yes, it is very bittersweet for me to announce this is my last night and my last show as your K-Texas anchor here in the big country. For the last almost three years, I have had the honor of being one of your news anchors and the privilege of telling your stories. I want to thank you for welcoming me into your homes every evening and for making Abilene feel like a home to me. From the very beginning, the communities here have been nothing but kind and welcoming of me. I'm going to miss working and living the big country, but I'll never forget my time here. It has been very special to me. But I am staying in the Sinclair family. I've accepted a reporter role with KI, our station in Austin. And Farah, the K-Texas team, along with everyone watching at home tonight, is so grateful for all of those stories that you've told. And here's a look at a few of those moments. Good evening and thanks for watching K-Texas News at 5. I'm Owen Simpson. And I'm Farrah Walton. We begin tonight with we FOI the city of Abilene and visually this is how many responses were submitted through the C-Click Fix app. Welcome back. Plastic bags are being used for the greater good right here in our community. Welcome to this special presentation of Hard Ground, a look at farming and ranching in our area. Matador, Texas is home to a community of more than 500 people. That community now mourning the loss of the town they once knew. Back in April of 2021, Governor Greg Abbott announced a project that will bring over 500 new jobs with an average salary of $60,000. A storm rolled through the city of Rotan in June of last year, damaging these buildings behind me. Now, 10 months later, they're finally getting demolished. As the monarchs migrate south for the winter, they often take advantage of beautiful flower beds just like this one here at the Abilene Zoo. Hey, Will, yeah, the weekend so many people look forward to every year in the big country is finally here, and there is going to be a lot of good country music going on today and tomorrow with a stacked lineup of artists performing. Now, the main stage is right behind me. Such a privilege telling all of those stories and more, and an honor to get to start and grow my career here. Well, you certainly have. And with that, Farah, the big country will certainly miss you. You might have noticed at home we're all wearing, wearing pink tonight because yeah. that's your favorite color. <laughs> and I just wanted to say I've certainly enjoyed being your co-anchor. And oh. I would say your close friend as well. Thank you, Will. And I will miss you so much too. But you know, when you first arrived here, we knew we had somebody special. Aww. You are a talented, hard worker, and you will go far. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. It's been an honor to anchor the evening newscast with you too, and Sierra. Thank you so much. All right. Well, let's take a look at the weather. And well, we're sending her away with some rain. I guess the clouds are crying too, right? All right. We are going to miss you. I'll miss you. Why don't you say goodbye for us one last time? For one last time, I'm Farrah Walton. Thank you for watching K-Texas News at 10. Jimmy Kimmel is next. We hope you have a great night and a great weekend. I'll miss you.